hello friends today we are going to discuss about moisture content dry basis and wet basis moisture content and the relation between dry basis and wet basis moisture content so here is first the moisture content definition uh, so the what is uh, moisture content moisture content the quantity of water that is present in the uh, material such as soil rocks crops woods etc or the percentage of uh, moisture present uh, to the sample okay so this is the moisture content so moisture uh, can stay to the sample in uh, two ways okay first is uh, absorbed water and uh, adsorbed water so absorbed water is the moisture content contained within the plant cells or grain cells and adsorbed water moisture content present on the sample surface or grain surface okay so uh, absorbed water is the inner uh, inner side uh, uh, of the uh, grain and adsorbed water is the outer surface okay so here is moisture content can be expressed uh, in two ways wet basis and dry basis so here the wet basis definition moisture content of a grain on wet basis is expressed as the ratio of weight of water present to the total weight of the grain so here we see that uh, uh, mw is equal ww divided by ww plus wd where mw is a uh, weight basis moisture content and that is expressed in percentage and ww weight of water present to the grain unit gram or kilogram and wd weight of dry solid present to the grain okay so this is the weight basis moisture content and here is the dry basis moisture content moisture content of a grain on dry basis is expressed as the ratio of weight of water to the weight of dry solid present of the grain so md is uh, here md is the dry basis moisture content is equal ww by wd uh, ww is and the weight of water present in the uh, grain divided by weight of solid so this is the dry basis moisture content so here's the relationship between weight basis and dry basis moisture content so moisture content in dry basis is always higher than moisture content in wet basis md is uh, greater than mw always is it really possible yeah it is it is always uh, happen so here is uh, you understand easily when the amount of water is higher than dry solid that time moisture content in dry basis md is greater than 100 percent here's the example the example you wash and that you see uh, for example watermelon contain 92 to 94 percent of water so say 93 percent of water contain and the watermelon weight is 6 kg so we can easily calculate ww is equal 6 into 93 by 100 then uh, weight of water we can uh, easily calculate 5.58 kg and uh, weight of dry solid wd is equal um, 6 uh, into and the remain person 93 percent if the water contain then uh, 7 percent is uh, um, solid material okay so solid matter can be fiber uh, sugar etc uh, etc et maybe can okay so here is a we can easily uh, calculate the uh, 
weight of uh, dry solid uh, 0 0.42 kg and then we can calculate md is equal uh, ww by wd and put the value then we uh, get 13.2 kg of uh, kg of water uh, per kg of uh, solid so every per kg of solid uh, uh, solid uh, every per kg of uh, solid uh, watermelon and that contain 13.2 kg of water or 132 percentage and uh, here it is uh, mw uh, here is also is given 93 percent if there is uh, don't mention that uh, um, weight basis or uh, dry basis then uh, we can uh, uh, take it uh, weight basis okay then uh, you can see it mw is equal to ww by ww plus wwd so here is ww we uh, put the value easily so then uh, we can uh, see 93 kg of water per kg of watermelon so every per kg of watermelon uh, every kg of watermelon that contain 0.93 kg of water that is 93 percent and uh, that we check it okay so here is the relationship between uh, 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 dry uh, dry basis and uh, weight basis moisture content so here is the dry basis uh, dry basis uh, and dry basis uh, this uh, equation we know uh, md is equal ww divided by wd and uh, um, and then we uh, get it uh, inverse this then we get uh, 1 by md divided, uh, is equal uh, wd uh, divided by ww so uh, add uh, one uh, both side then we can easily calculate it and then again uh, inverse this uh, then we get and uh, we know ww by ww plus uh, wd is equal to md uh, mw so we can easily calculate it so th this is the relation mw is equal md divided by 1 plus md so now uh, this uh, another mw we know uh, weight basis uh, mw uh, weight basis moisture content in weight basis mw is equal to ww divided by ww plus wd so here uh, inverse this uh, this equation both side and then we get um, 1 by mw ww wd divided by ww so you can easily calculate it and uh, and uh, then uh, subtract uh, one from both side then we get it and uh, that is uh, inverse uh, again uh, uh, inverse this uh, from both side and then we get uh, md is equal uh, mw divided by 1 minus uh, mw ww by wd is equal to we know m m d okay so this is the relation this is the relation moisture content in weight basis with uh, moisture content in dry basis and uh, uh, moisture content uh, in dry basis with uh, moisture content in weight basis if the value given in the math is uh, dry basis moisture content so we can easily uh, 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 got the value of moisture content in, in uh, weight basis so here is the same thing okay so this is the topic today okay so in my next video i um, uh, i uh, we will do uh, some problems with uh, this uh, equation okay bye bye